Today I'm going to help you decide whether you should buy an all-wheel drive vehicle or not. Now just like cats, all-wheel drive vehicles use all four wheels when they're driving. So, they hold on to the road really well and they don't slip in rain or snow. So if you drive like mad in the rain, it's going to be a lot safer. And I might live in Texas, but a few years ago we went to Lake Tahoe to go snowshoeing with the kids. It was snowing so much, we either had to run an all-wheel drive vehicle or get changed for the tires. So we rented an all-wheel drive Ford. And even though it snowed over four feet while we were there, we never got stuck and went right through it, no problems. But realize there's a price to pay for all-wheel drive. In this Lincoln, it's $2,495 more than the two-wheel drive version, so you're going to pay a lot more. And since it weighs more and creates more friction, you're going to get a little bit worse gas mileage. In this case, it gets about two miles per gallon less on the highway. And realize that tire upkeep is more expensive because as the tires wear, you have to replace all four tires at the same time. Because if one tire wears less than the other tire, it makes the transfer case act strange and it can actually damage the all-wheel drive system. Now I've never bought four tires all at one time. I always buy them in pairs and buy my cars used. So that's kind of a big deal to me because I'm cheap. Now if you wonder how it works, there's a drive shaft that goes to a rear differential just like an old fashioned car that's rear wheel drive. Here's the back of the transmission where it feeds into the drive shaft that feeds the rear wheels. But there's also a transfer case and drive shafts in the front. And that sends power with the CV joint to the front wheels. Now in modern vehicles like this Lincoln, it's all controlled by computers. So it's a very safe and reliable system that really can hug the road. So in a new vehicle, it can be a lot of fun, really give you some good driving experience. But be wary of buying an older all-wheel drive vehicle with a lot of mileage. Because when these all-wheel drive transmission systems break down, I've seen people spend six or seven thousand dollars and more having them repaired. And because of design, I've seen some take three or four hours to replace a starter that normally is a job that only takes 15 minutes. With everything crammed inside a tight space, there's not much working room on lots of all-wheel drive vehicles. So now you know the truth about all-wheel drive vehicles and you can make a sensible choice. And remember, if your car has any problems, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. Before it's too late. <laughs>